2021 Top Series 1 is finally here. Let's get to it. All right, guys, got a meal day here. Let's get into it. A newer type mail day. This was a sealed box purchase. So, Tops Baseball 2021 Series 1. So these came out this week. This is the hanger box. Has two exclusive royal blue base parallel. So, Let's get into it. 67 cards inside. So I talked a couple videos ago about, uh, you know, plans for this set and getting them as soon as possible, as soon as they came out, and then sending them express PSA, trying to get Trying to get these back as soon as possible, graded, and try to be one of the first to market on the uh, the old eBay. That uh, was thwarted because, um, yeah. So the ones I actually pre-ordered, uh, a few blasters, and those still haven't come in. I think they're going to come in next week. Um, I was hoping the pre-order would be in on Wednesday. I could rip those. Get them out. I mean, there's people all over eBay with these cards already. So that means there's already people that have submitted and you know, they may be a week ahead of us. So we're still probably gonna submit a couple express five day to PSA and see how that process works out. Hopefully we can be still one of first to market with a PSA 10, uh, hopefully on, uh, on eBay so we can kind of recoup and make a pretty good uh, amount there so this is my first time seeing the tops series 1 2021 in person and I gotta say in person they look much better than online so the one gripe I have is so I don't love the the bars and stuff i do like the plain standard border those are pretty cool but the names are kind of hard to read for whatever reason but anyway that's just me christian yellett chris taylor here's an insert and i'm gonna have to go back and look and see if any of these are uh short prints or anything like that but motor city mashers howie kendrick Aaron Buxton, Buster Posey, Adam Frazier, Charlie Morton, Matt Chapman, oh Bryce, nope, not Bryce Harper for some, <laughs> definitely not Bryce Harper, uh, Jay Bruce, Chris Paddock, Stephen Matz, Mark Kana, not sure who that is, Willie Calhoun, Salvador Perez, Albert Alman, Albert Almora Jr. It's a pretty sweet picture. A team picture of the Orioles here. Mariana Rivera, pretty cool insert there. Clayton Kershaw. All right. Here we go, 
gold cup card of a Luis Robert. Very nice. Robert Gold Cup Tops Rookie. And it looks okay. Well, maybe a little off center left to right. And maybe a little top to bottom too. Not sure that we'll submit that one or not, but very cool. Francisco Lindor. What is this? He's got the mask on. Interesting. I wonder if that's some sort of short print, or if that's just his 2021 card. To look that one up. Albert Pujols. Osuna. Luke Voigt, league leader. Josh Reddick. Future stars. Second year for that. Andre Simenez, rookie. Go ahead and sleeve all the rookies, basically. And, um, so that's your. Andre Simenez card in the Mets Uni, obviously, but um, could be a big part. Could have a big year this year. Nick Madrigal on that White Sox team. Definitely uh, could have a good year. White Sox kind of building a nice young core of a team so that's pretty cool that one not sure about kind of looks kind of looks a little off-centered yeah You're definitely wider on the right side on the left side. So I don't know if that's one that we should really five day, because that would be, uh, that's probably coming back at nine if we do that. Here we go, James Capriolat. So, uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, new, new A's rookie there. Here we go. Alec Bohm. This one looks off-centered too. I think all kind of look off-centered. I mean, this one's definitely off-centered. <laughs> okay, well. That would have been a good one to get expressed. I don't know with that, the way it looks there. Let me know what you think. I mean, I know it's off-centered, so. I guess we can really send that one in. Cool to get the uh, Bowling Rookie card though. Future Stars, Gavin Lux, the second year. Iglesias. David Boaty. I think that's how you say it, Boaty, not Boat. I may butcher some of these names, but if I do, I'm sorry. Michael Lorenzen, Tim Anderson, Jose Quintana, Brian Goodwin, League Leaders, Trevor Bauer Power, Amir Garrett, Roberto Perez, DJ LeMayhew, League Leader, put that one over here. Chris Bubik. Not sure what 
sure about him very much, but uh, you know, it's a pitcher. It's hard to hard to really expect too much from a pitcher's card, even a rookie. Down to it, friends. Trying to, okay. Here we go, Texas Rangers team card. Joey Wendell. Get up, Mets. Got Alonzo there, Pete Alonzo. Stars celebrate. Oh, here we go. Rookie card. That's uh, Diamondback. Not sure about him. And then Nick Weidert. And then Nick. Oh, okay. And then sleeve these two pitchers. Just because they are rookies. Pitchers are rookies too. It would have been cooler to get a Casey Mize, but I assume that we're not going to get one of those. Because of all the pitchers, I would expect he has the best um, prospects of actually having a, a solid uh, card there. All right, here we go. Dylan Bundy. Mitch Hanger. And we got a Tony Kemp, a nice silver border refractor guy. Does not appear to be a rookie. Max Kepler. rookie card it's a, definitely a facsimile um, signature there the kind of throwback is that 1952 throwback pretty cool card I think he's gonna be a big time player so I'm not sure about all the different inserts and where this one falls. Wish I could get it in the sleeve here without jacking up one of the corners. But there we go. All right. Oh, 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 oh. card there. Paul Goldschmidt. I don't like the little Mickey Mouse facsimile signatures, but uh, you know, to each their own. Mookie Betts, Eloy Jimenez, and there, here's the 86 throwback. Andrew McCutcheon says the 35th anniversary of the 1986 design. Not my favorite design, but uh, let's see if we got a Nope, no rookie. I don't think you know, we would have seen it by now. Yeah. Ozuna, league leaders. All right, give me another brave. This one a rookie, this one, Pesce. No rookie. Anthony Santander. All right. I guess we'll sleeve these royal blue parallels. And figure out what we want to do here. All right. Now, the goal was to get some flagship rookies and get them express graded. So the three pitchers, none of them are going to be selected. So those are just three rookies. Now, here we go. Dylan Carlson, definitely a cool card. Look centered. Definitely a good prospect. So maybe. I just don't know. I'm going to have to look up exactly what this is. It 
and see. You know, I, I hate to get one of the, you know, um, inserts express graded, but maybe. This one's a pretty cool one, Alec Baum. Um, it's just really off centered. I mean, look at that left border. Barely anything there compared to the right border. Even the top to bottom's off. That's a nine all day at best. Um, you know, we got another pitcher. So let's go ahead and put him in the pitcher pile. Nick Madrigal. That one's close on the borders. This one's definitely smaller than this one, but it's not as bad as Balm. And top to bottom seems to be a little off as well. I think, you know, this one may be the, the best prospect as far as borders are concerned. Let me know which you would submit of these three, or would you not submit any of them? And then of course we do have the Luis Robert gold cup card. I don't believe we're gonna be submitting that one, but it's a cool card just uh, nonetheless. So we are sending in an, an express order for another card I have. So we're already gonna have one sending off. It's just gonna cost us the extra $55 in grading fees. So we'll have to figure out which of these we want to spend that money on. Um, I don't know if it was all things considered, maybe uh, the Dylan Carlson appears to be maybe the, the most centered. And now that I'm looking at it, this might be a little bit bigger than this side. So even that one, and that's not the flagship. So would it not be better to go with one of the other bigger names or not bigger names, but one of the flagship cards. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking we're leaning towards Nick Madrigal. Sending that one in and maybe the Yemenes too. Maybe send two of them, express both of them. Let's see what we get. I don't know. What would you do? If you're trying to get quick turnaround, be first to market with a graded 2021 Series 1 card. Is it worth it? I'll let you know what we decide. 2021 Tops Series 1. These two rookies, and this is the 1952 retro uh, kind of heritage deal with the facsimile signature. For Dylan Carlson and Andres. Yeah.